back, ladies and gentlemen, to the University Alliance Cup, where 12 collegiate Valorant teams will fight together for the Campus Torch and the prize pool of over 100,000 pesos. My name is Yusuke, and kasama ko po ngayon, I see Swarly. This is the last match of the day, and it's gonna be an interesting one. Swarly, do you have any thoughts about Valiant Ooh. going up against I Tamaraus? Well, it's very interesting because how uh, there isn't a lot of trash talk na nangyayari dito sa UAC. Pero them, they said, quote-unquote, that they have already readied their win banners for the group. So, you know, if, if, kung maglalabas kayo ng ganun na salita, I will definitely be expecting them to dominate this one. Pero that is no easy task because yung mga kalaban nila, magaling din yung mga yan. Okay, matasin yung expectation natin for this matchup because sila actually yung uh, teams na naglaban for last season's quarterfinals. Unfortunately, sa side ng Itam Rouse, they lost to Valiant. So it might be a little bit of a revenge match. And it's gonna be interesting. I think uh, no nag usap tayo between the casters for uh, ano yung other match na pwedeng i-highlight. I think this is one of the top picks. Mostly mm-hmm. because Valiant, uh, maganda talaga yung synergy nila as a team. They have a fantastic fan base. And yung Itamaraus, no, they're not uh, strangers to the pro scene. Meron din silang uh, a handful of pro players. And it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be uh, great for the fans, for us, and for everyone watching. Start with a bang, end with a bang. So perfect day number one. Ganun naman talaga dapat. Kasi syempre, Valorant ang laro natin. Sumasabog po ang spike. <laughs> <laughs> Kung hindi na de defuse yun lang. Kung hindi na de defuse tama na, tama na, tama na. Tama na. <laughs> yun nga. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyways, uh, while we're waiting for the players, uh, maybe we can uh, take a look at the schedule, if our prod team has it available. Just a quick rundown of uh, all the matches that uh, we've had for today. We started with the DLSU going up against uh, Ateneo. Upset mm-hmm. for Ateneo. Yep. Uh, sorry, Swarly. I'm it's okay. Ka. That, that but, is uh, how it is. But let's not dwell on that. <laughs> of course, of course. And then, aside from that, we also have uh, Tele Tigers, no, upsetting the Malayan Warlocks. This is uh, this was a very interesting game because Tele Tigers last season they underperformed and they managed to beat the Malayan Warlocks, who had a three-two uh, winning rate last season. A win. Uh, Win loss uh, difference, so really great na next step up sila. Uh, if you look at their caster predictions, I think dalawa lang yung pumili sa Tele Tigers. Siyempre si Tayrar pinili niya yung Tele Tigers. So, si, si, masaya si siya. Ni isa pa? Hindi si ni isa ma- pa. Um, wait, Basta, alam, let me al- check. Alam it. ko hindi ako uh, believer ng Tele Tigers, eh. So, sorry, Yomi. Si ano yun? <laughs> si uh, Juicy Brucey. Tsaka si Tayrar lang yung pumili uh... ng Tele Tigers. So, I'm sure masaya sila for their picks. And uh, yeah, I yeah, I think if job. they if the Tele Tigers manage to find like you know more more synergy, they they find like better strategies that work for them. They can be a very very scary team because individually they have a lot of skill. Like I think there were moments in talagang each and one of them had their aim dual highlights. Oh, no, I I think uh, you covered that match. I was able to watch a little bit of it uh, down in Twitch. Because a lot of a friendly and intimidating banter on Twitch, if I'm to be honest. Uh, ang apat na for our viewers out there, no. If uh, kung di pa kayo aware, this is actually the Tagalog broadcast on Facebook. Oh, pero nag pero nag nag the Taglish kami. Yeah, nag the Taglish kami. But uh, there's actually a full English broadcast in Akadarina PH uh, Twitch page. No? That's twitch.tv slash Akadarina. PH. But uh, before we go into our map veto, because I think uh, it's not yet available, we'd like to thank our sponsors to make this event possible. First and foremost, we've got Globe, our official telco partner. We also have Riot Games. Yes, this is a Riot accredited uh, tournament. So very thankful to Riot for uh, giving these uh, collegiate players a chance and a platform Sa- ma- to play. Maraming salamat, Rito, as they say. <laughs> Marami salamat indeed. And of course, we have Twitch student. Thank you as well for giving us the opportunity Riot, to let our collegiate players shine uh, in their platform. And last but not the least, our new partner, Kovac 
they're actually an aim trainer and they provided keys to all our Valorant players. So, syempre, everyone's honing their skills practicing what they can using Kovac 2.0. And speaking of Kovac 2.0, Swarly, I think we have a little giveaway. Yes, we have a giveaway because our partners at the Meta gave us a lot of codes. So, halos araw-araw ng broadcast na to, ng UAC Cup Season number 2 for Valorant. We have four keys to be given away. And sobrang-sobrang dali mag sumali. Kasi you just have to share the stream, this stream on your socials and do the hashtag or do the tag Kung sino man yung team na sinusuportahan ninyo. So, you know, why not? Just shoot your shot, as they say, since this is an FPS game. Uh, no pun intended. Ganun talaga yun eh. Kanina pa kami na... Kanina pa kami naglulukan dahil sa mga puns na yan. Hindi ko alam kung meron sa tag stream, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ganun. It's fun. <laughs> Ganun Sana nag-enjoy din kayo. Oo nga. Kung, kung, kung nag-cringe kayo, sorry, but we're not gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, this is the beginning phase. Just wait till we get to the finals. But anyways, uh, right now, yeah, still waiting for our players to queue up. But we already have a map here. We've got ascent, ascent, na naman for today's Ooh, warrior. Ascent. And FIT chose defending side, uh, first up. So how will be at our attacker side? I'm gonna be really excited sa agent picks nila. But uh, for now, I yeah, I think our players are still readying up now. But uh, what can you tell us, Swarly, now about the uh, Akad Arena Alliance? What what is it about? Well, the, Alliance? the whole point of Akad Arena Alliance is to combine your school and esports. Siempre alam naman natin since since sa Pilipinas tayo hindi pa naman ganon ka widely accepted. <laughs> ang esports at gaming kaka computer mo lang siya sabi na mga magulang natin since time immemorial. Pero sa this is the perfect chance for you to change the notion of your school because the Acad Arena Alliance program is here for you. Alliance member clubs get a lot of benefits. You'll be able to join the tournaments. You'll be able to join the mentorship, event support. Kung gusto mo mag-set up ng tournament para sa iyong school, this is the way. And of course, we have the Globe Esports Merit Scholarship. So if you are a top player or even just someone who is forming esports in your school, you may be able to to get a scholarship for your education. So, win-win, gaming and school. You should really definitely shoot your shot here because if you want more information, just go to acadarena.com slash alliance. Malay mo, makakuha ka ng scholarship. Kung makakuha ka ng scholarship, ano pa masasabi ng magulang mo? O ikakalaro mo lang, ma! Scholar. Scholar. <laughs> Di ba? How can you say no to that? Yeah, it's great overall na yung uh, yung growth ng Akadarina uh, since last year. It's been great that they've given a platform to collegiate students and esports most especially during these uh, trying times. And at the end of the day, uh, we just hope na nag enjoy yung mga viewers and nag enjoy din yung mga players kasi alam pa yung mga tropa niya dyan. Natutuwa din sila. Parang nasa stream kayo. Mga kayong, you know, parang medyo celebrities na kayo for Akadarina. So, yep. sana, you know, you guys are just uh, happy at the end of the day. Yun talaga yung important eh. Good luck, have fun. Yung essence nun. Kapag in-game, nakikita namin na nag-good half yung mga players. Parang, you know, it just warms the heart yep. a little bit. Exactly. Na, Kasi, mm-hmm. alam mo naman, pag mga games na ganito, usually competitive. So, nagsasalabasan talaga yung toxic. So, it's very nice to yeah. see that level of sportsmanship especially since this year we won't be having a UAAP which is usually the com the, the competitive experience that schools have but thanks to Akad Arena we get we still get that Ateneo LaSalle rivalry we can still see an Ateneo UP rivalry even maybe we can see but you know it's always nice to have that competitive uh outlook or what a competitive space where you can cheer for your school and you know Enjoy. Uh, and uh, yeah, we hope that everyone's having a great evening. Uh, alam ko kanina ng umaga marami nag tune in for the DLS Yatadeo match, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's a couple of people watching the stream uh, right now, especially for Archangels and Itamaros. No? And again, I think we're still waiting for a couple of players to log in, but uh, right now, I guess we can just. Uh, 
repeat again our giveaway no, before the stream ends because this is our last game. This is game number six for the group stages. We still have a lot of games for tomorrow, but this is the last one. Yep. Last. Yeah, well, and for our giveaway, we've got Kovac 2.0. Again, kung hindi pa kayo familiar anong software ito, it's basically an official aim trainer. And yung maganda sa Kovac 2.0, parang nasa-simulate niya yung guns, the, yung feel ng guns in Valorant and certain games. Kaya sulit din siya, because you can uh, apply it to your game. Parang hindi ka din umalis ng range. Ganun yung essence nun. So, we're giving away four keys to Kovac. And for lucky viewers for today's broadcast, all you have to do is share the stream on your socials. Make sure the post is public para makita namin. And uh, use the hashtag for the team that you are cheering for. In this case, we've got Valiant Archangels that will be hashtag H-A-U win. And for F-I-T, that is hashtag F-I-T win. And we will be announcing the giveaway winners at the end of the stream. Okay? So, wag kayong umalis ka agad mamaya kasi mahalain nyo kayo yung nanalo. Diba? Malay nyo, kayo na yung magbubuhat sa mga kaibigan ninyo sa Valorant just because of that Kovac. Well, syempre, you still have to put in the time and the effort. Of course. Hindi lang, hindi lang porket may aim trainer kayo, gagaling kayo kagad. You still have to, you know, you have to grind. Personally. I mean, uh, common misconception talaga uh, to our viewers out there, no? That you're thinking uh, how you approach the game. There are certain aspects na hindi mo binabago. Siyempre, kailangan mo din manood sa mga pros tas uh, pick up on some of their mannerisms in-game. Uh, alam ko sa Pilipinas, sobrang idol si na Hiko, si Wardell, si Tens. So, advisable talaga na kung pinapanood mo yung highlights nila, parang you should adapt the way they play rin. Kasi unique yung, uh, yung playstyle ng uh, each of these pro players. And napapansin mo rin, like, you don't even have to look at it internationally. Kahit yung mga idols sa Philippines, yung sina Bren, Archangel, Oasis Gaming, all these teams, you can pick up uh, on some of their strats. And sometimes, pwede mo rin sila, siguro pwede mo rin i-message yung mga favorite pro players nyo for tips. I'm sure that some of them have the time to accommodate your questions, no? And uh, I think we will be starting in a few minutes. Uh, just repeating, our map Vito will be on Ascent and FIT will be on the defending side. Ayun. So, Swarly, what are your expectations for this matchup? Especially uh, para tong revenge game from last year's quarterfinals. Well, if how how did say that they want to at least, you know, they did say guns blazing. I mean, figuratively. Sweep, guys, sweep. The, the sweep. Sweep nga daw yung makikita natin. So, tignan natin, this will be a very, very good tell for them if they will be able to fight. To... To pull it off, and I do like the mentality of it. Just going with the defense first, because usually, if you're defense first on a map like a scent, you can at least go for that single, single sentinel, and maybe go heavier on the duelist because you will be able to attack. I mean, you will be put in a winning position on attack if everything goes well. Because I always like it. Like for example, sometimes there are teams who. Sure, they attack, they attack first, but they get a lot more sentinels. The the mentality behind it, I believe, is so when the when the half happens, they can the, the first half they make it as close as possible. The second half they have more of that advantage and they have that cushion, where they can play their more comfortable heroes on the second half when it is time to win. There is that weird mentality behind it, but it's. It's a very interesting thought process. I can't explain it perfectly. I want to. But next time, I'll be able to explain it perfectly. But do you get what I'm saying? Okay. I think I uh, kind of picked up on uh, yung tungkol sa attacker's part. Yeah, it definitely makes sense in a map like Ascent. But bouncing back sa sinabi ni Ling, uh, the thing with Ascent, narrow passageways mm-hmm. and very open mid. So it's... Yep. Uh, mid control is so heaven. important. Mid right. control is so Upper important. Seven, yeah. But the thing with it, no, let's say you're trying to go for mid control, you can get taken off guard. Kasi malay mo, meron na palang defender nandun sa mid top. And they managed to pick up a couple of members. This information din yun alam nila na halas ng members na sa mid. Right? You always so, have to have. Yeah. You always have to in, have info around cat and around market. That's so important. If you leave one of those opens, your, your team is just so liable for a flank. 
Yeah, you honestly gotta like <laughs> always watch your teammates back. Katulad ng yun nangyari sa kay Nan earlier. Kayo so, nag-ulti siya? Yeah, Kayo nag-ulti siya? Nag-run. Siya sa site, kaso Zappi, nakuha siya kasi dalawa pa yung nag-lurk from behind si Zappi siya kasi Reigns, you know, very uh, unfortunate. But yeah, always remember, kapag nag-ult yung Phoenix siya, dapat may nakabantay. Same goes with Sova, pag naka-owl drone. I mean, just don't leave anyone behind. Yeah, you don't leave anyone uh, standing. You don't leave anyone hanging. Yeah, there you, go. you don't leave anyone hanging. Lag- lagi daw may support ah, sa team na yan. And, <laughs> yun nga yung nakakatawa. Pero, Yung sinabi mo nga na nangyayari din ngayon kay Yoru minsan eh. <laughs> Iwanan niya yung teleport niya sa likod. Tapos may nakatingin na pala sa ano. Lalo na kung magi info yung magi info na ulti siya. Minsan, syempre usually mag-ano yung mag-teleport back yun. Eh. But finally, we are gonna be heading in to the draft here. Defenders that will be fit. Valiant will be on the attacker side of the map. He is hovering Astra, but unfortunately, hindi pa natin pwede makita ang Astra ngayon. As much as we all want to see that hero in action in the competitive sense. But yeah, Itam Rouse, they will definitely not be that team you can just sleep on. They have Worship, they have Bat Ghost, they have... Wait, they have Tricks. And Valiant, oh, are we gonna be seeing this the, the, the sweep that you called out? You shall see, but man, they are are they picking up the sage? Actually I love sage on this map. Makes market control so much easier. Yeah, and you get to block them from passing through mid. And essential then sha in uh, A main. Because she has the bullets in He likes Ooh, this. I, double I Yeah. Double Sentinel and starting on attackers if they make it if they make it to defenders. With a close store score, it's gonna be so easy for them. Choose your They're agent. They're gonna lock in so far, but uh, Vindic on that Sova gonna be really excited. Last season, nag shine talaga siya. Uh, Bat Ghost uh, <laughs> identity revealed because last season yung pagalan niya not Bat Ghost, so <laughs> I guess fully accepted what he is. Bat Ghost. We also got Worship uh, down on our breach. It's gonna be really fun. A breach on ascent, especially with the rolling thunder and the flash. Oh yeah, yeah, it would be very, very fun. And plus, you know, even just the fault line, you can easily fault line marker. You can easily yeah, fault man. line spawn. Uh, even even garden if you're doing if you're going ahead on the other side, it's it's mm -hmm. just so good. I'm really yeah. happy, nga, cause I think the like not a lot of people selected breach, and they buffed him like a lot. They added another flash, mm -hmm. and they increased the the length of the fault line. Tas mabilis na siya magano eh, mag uh, set up, so it's quicker to release the fault line. Yeah, you know, we gave some love to breach. That's uh, really happy for that, and uh, he's popping off in tournaments. It's great. Here, mm -hmm. so, so hopefully we can say the same for Viper soon. He, well. <laughs> I, you only see Viper in Icebox most yeah, of the time for me. I mean. It's just so good in Icebox because any hit, you can just split up the the map. Then there are there are one-way smoke lineups offensively for Viper as well on that map. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I like this. You got the mid control so very quickly. Defenders looking like attackers. Tricks leading the charge already gets terabyte. Oof, little boy. Terabytes. Been I like that. Bytes. They are gonna be playing this very, very aggressively. A taste of vision strikers here. Oh, but look at that. So many vulnerable with that alarm. But fortunately, they can't just throw away the utility. They don't have the shot dart already there. But the nade, the Kobe, will be done on to Miko on the killjoy. Everyone's very, very low though. Three on three. Everyone just a right click away on that classic, but Trix though, Trix will be able to lurk his way onto Haven. That ghost will take out Dust and Sage, last woman standing, will be taken out as this is a very, very easy defuse for the item or else. They should be wary. From the get go, no Swarly, it was already a uh, tactical push to side ng Itamaraus. Trix leading the charge. Mm. Just pushed over to. <laughs> literally down through mid and yep. caught our Killjoy off guard and then just pushed on actually to the side of uh, where the spike was being, being planted. They actually heard the. I like to call it PSA because it is what it is. As in, like, <laughs> mga announce sa buong mundo kung nasa new spike. 
And then everyone just converged there. Yun talaga yung maganda eh. For that. <laughs> it's so we nice that they did the that. Oh, Ooh. nicely done. That was a no armor body shot. Mm -hmm. And actually, round two is one of my favorite times to ever buy a marshal because not everyone is gonna be buying armor and a body shot will be a kill onto that marshal. Nico, look at that. They're just pushing. Who's the attacker here? Who's the defender? I'm confused because it looks like I Tamraus. They're the ones that are out for blood here. <laughs> I mean, again, the rivalry between these two. I Tamraus, I'm pretty sure like, they didn't forgive how for what happened last year. So as early as now, just expressing their dominance towards them. And going back to what you said, Marshall for the second round, I absolutely agree with you, especially since the price has been mm. brought down and I yep. think they increased the scope. So, yep, yep. It's a lot great job for them. Uh, for Trix, wasn't really a hard shot, no? Just the DOS walked into frame, got mm. an easy body shot, and then already He was jiggling out. very, very right, right. Turrets destroyed. And he wasn't running or anything. Oh, look oh. at that. There we go. I like this. This is so Vision Striker is what they're doing. And I can't wait to see what type of set pieces Itamaras will have on the attacker side. Especially if you're a Breach. Always just so fun. <laughs> okay, they're gonna be revealed here in TF Omiko. Ooh, 4 and 2 now, Itamaras. But this is the full gun buy from the Archangels. So over last man standing will be taken out in market here and much needed win. But round three is always dun talaga nakakaalaman. <laughs> Kasi surely right, of course, both yes. rifle rounds in time na yan. Unless unless nagkamali kayo sa eco for mm -hmm. some reason. <laughs> It's always a plus to win the pistol round because syempre it gives you a little bit of extra funds in case mm. you lose the third round. And looking at their gun composition now, we're already at round number four. Basically, pareho naging econ nila eh. But uh, yeah. it's good of how na, na disrupt nila yung economy ng item rounds even for a little bit. And with that said, ayan na naman si Trix. Moving forward, trying to catch a pick but uh, cancelled out by the paint shells. Uh, you know, honestly, na kaya ni siya yung paint shells nyan, kasi it explodes once, tas may mini grenades pang lumalabas. Yep. So it's uh, you're like, oh, I'm safe, and then you're like, oh, I'm not. It, it's annoying. such a good control, especially at least na to tutu na sila, de ba? Alam mo yung fool me yes. once, shame on me, fool me twice. Me twice, keep up the blade while you. Yeah. Parang yeah. mali yata yung sinabi ko, pero you get it. Guess yeah. yun yung sinasabi ko. Kasi yes. pa ulit ulit yung ginagawang push dito ng jet. Making okay, sure that's even here. look at that, like that was a double shot. That pair of neck, parin nila. <laughs> the the cautiousness. <laughs> oh, caught with the bionic arm out. Nice push with the satchel. Gonna find another, and this is a beautiful, a beautiful execution by the Valiant Archangels. Okay, this is when, this is when they'll start amping it up. They're, they're gonna have that econ. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. He's just fanning himself, right? <laughs> I, I wish yeah, you could yeah. see that from the third person perspective. Oh yeah, but you can yung mga inspection eh. But uh, yeah. regardless, I guess it's a little bit of an ego boost kapag ganun yung uh, melee mo. I actually, gusto mo makita ng uh, kill with that eh. Wala pa akong nakita na fan kill. Uh, maybe we'll see one later Paano on. Paano may finisher but, yung mga uh, fan eh? Ay, yung mga knife. Yeah, meron, meron talaga finisher yung mga knife. But, uh, yeah, back into the game, your perfect flashpoint into a main, no? Uh, didn't really catch anyone off guard. Dial attacks with a showstopper. It gets cancelled out. But, Trix is down. Their main fragger here. Blast gets worshipped. And that is a 3v4 situation. Spike is already imminent, but yeah, sakto sakto ang wall bang niya. I think Vantage she hit Blast a little bit there. Dodge trying to push them out of the way. Dialadax back into action. It is a full squad up against three. Oh, kill! Oh, the kill with the sheriff. 
That was so beautifully done. Paranoia being prepped up here. We're Who will be able to push into that? They're waiting for that utility. Gonna push right in. But that is a Vandal. Not a fight you're gonna win That's most of the standing. time. But oh! One and one. Defuse. That was the fake. Whoa. He's gonna push. He's gonna push the Hunter's Fury. This is actually the right play here. But a bit too far. Very, very safe on that Sova. There's enough time to defuse that, but it's super cheeky for Kiel here. There we go. And it's not enough. Vindicator. I like the smartness. I mean, he had shock darts available. Right. Which I don't think he had the lineup, but I like the Hunter's Fury. He w he added an extra layer of protection with that other wall. Because otherwise, he could have been pushed. Oh man, sure, he failed that one, but he had the right idea. Right. Because you can't just give the advantage all the way to a Sova in that fight. Uh, alam mo actually Swarly in the earlier games, I think it was uh, the Gearhawks uh, game. Mm -hmm. Same exact spot in a sense, but it was a two v one. Nagde defuse na yung isang agent, tasi yung isang agent kinapul niya yung Sova. Pero na line up siya sa Hunter's Fury. So, oh. dalawang yun na dalawa yun na tamaan and sobrang sayang naman sa play niya. I just saw the disappointment in Lin's face. That I'm was hoping sad. Walang ganon, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was sad because, sure, kita naman yung pattern ng Hunter's Fury, you know? Not That's really true. sure may, how may, may they tell naman walk... siya. Yeah, uh, yeah. True, Not true, really true. sure why the player walked into that, but regardless, no. So far, seeing some smart plays for Itamara and Valiant Art Angels, no one letting up. This is what we like to see. Uh, Itamara was bagged the pistol rounds with Valiant Art Angels fighting back as they should, and they are now stuck together in the main. And here we go with the push. It's actually really interesting that Sage is taking point in this scenario. Like, they have a jet, but right. they do trust him <laughs> to make that entry. Sure, Sage can entry, especially with a wall afterwards. You can Spike just planted. split up the map, like what he did, blocking out spawn here. Everyone is all in spawn, though. Just, oh, cheeky. Cheeky peek there as he was hearing the utility being used oh. here. Blast is gonna get that trade. They're gonna shoot through the smoke As, on a sliver of health. Why pa dito? She saves, but look at that. The Vandal. That ghost will be taken out as well. Tricks still holding on to that up. Who didn't check B main anymore and will they recover this up? Get punished for it, honestly. The barrel. Kitang kita yun eh. Oh yeah, because it's so long. It's so long. Plus elder flame pa. You'll be like, wait a minute. But but may dragon jet. May dragon na rasilya. Oh nga eh. I like it. Sayang talaga. But they played it safe that they didn't recover the operator. They could have, but unless you're really feeling confident na mayroong kayo ng agri oper, you're not really gonna get it. Yeah, they shouldn't stress themselves no over that. But yeah, Valiant Archangels staying true to their words so far, making it now doubling the score against Itamaro Strix, pushing forward though. Oh, 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 Will not be tricked there. That was a satchel push. And more than ready to make that work. Bro, that opening from tricks there. That, that That's painful. That is painful. And they but lined I mean, up. Sakto ng sakto pa yun eh. Like, no one would expect that. And right now, 2v2 situation bat goes. It's been phenomenal so far with the sheriff. Pero, like... Oh, they can Ay, get the rifle. Si Terra Bite si Blast. Maka may line up si Terra Bite here. This is really beneficial to them. If they can... Oh. Hindi pa... Ayan, nating na mo. Sakta yung sakta yung camera. Salamat sa'y prod! They're... Oh, so close though. It's not gonna kill him, but that's a lot of health damage. And Nico protecting... Uh, her diffuser there. And there we go. 30 on their plane. Last oh, that, pa nga, and that was painful, but that goes showing his veteran skills there, being able to clutch that one out. 
unfortunately, yeah, he, he I think he he had like a loading moment there the Killjoy. Like he wasn't ganun ka certain sa lineup niya because parang nag-isip pa siya. Eh. Inalala niya pa eh. Paano nga ba tong lineup na to? Ang oh, hindi nga niya pinato agad na pansin ko parang hinanap pa niya yung uh, yung angle. Eh. It was good angle, but yeah. sometimes yeah, that is the that is what makes using lineups so much harder than learning lineups. Mm-hmm. So if you it's all about recollection eh. How fast you can remember that lineup. Spontaneous ka rin kasi eh. So, tapos may pressure pa kasi hindi ka sure kung ilan seconds sa lang bago ma defusing spike. The, yeah, exactly. A good effort though, but yeah. You should definitely try to... Re- mm-hmm. It's a lot harder to execute in in theory. <clears throat> that's, why I, I, that's why I respect Sova players so much. Because the amount of hours they put into learning those lineups... You can spend the whole day learning lineups and not learn all of them. I agree. As a Sova main, I agree. Oh, you're a Sova main? I, I tried to be a Sova main that way, but I was like, nah, it's not worth it. Well, what I like to say about initiators, so you don't necessarily have to be in the site to get information aside from duelist. So that's, mm. what, that's why I capitalize on using Sova. But with that said here, uh, Miko holding down the fourth Valiant Archangel, so only four members left, no? And, uh... Oh, we... oh ayun na nga. Blast gets Miko left. and Doss gets killed. Frick gets the kill onto Terabyte. 3v3 situation, but from the heavens, Worship is down shot by Doss. Currently scrambling to the spike. Uh, nandito lang naman sa... Sa A lobby. Nagto chill naman sila dito, but Blast gets tricks, so... uh... Worship gets a little boost. It's time for this play. So, kailangan lang ng atin so over here si Batgos hindi mamatay. Two seconds the lag. Clutch. And there you go. Tactical Ooh. T-Bag. That's what we see here in markets. Uh, Sumasayo lang ng ating so over here. I really like the, the new meme. The new meme sprays. The, the, <laughs> the owl drone. Is this the owl drone? drone and the jet revive me. Oh nga eh. Natuwa nga ako na narito ko yung Jet Revive me kasi I, I know for the longest time, alam naman ng Riot eh, executives tsaka yung mga voice actors, si Shannon Williams yung voice actor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was doing Jet. Revive Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gin- as in ginagawa niya yan sa stream, tas parang pinakita niya rin kay Phoenix, yung voice actor ng Phoenix. And, oh, pin- oh, pinasabi well, din niya sa voice actor ni Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Oh nga eh, kaya sobrang nakakatuwa talaga kasi as early as the game is, they're giving a lot of importance to it. And oh, for sure, masaya yung community. And you know, this what Rix was doing. Rix was actually I'm... holding crouch, holding an angle crouch. And whenever yeah. you do that, especially against professionals, you're always gonna get that split second where they realize you're crouching. And fortunately, that time around, sobrang ready yung kalaban. Shadows traveling. Paranoia being prepped here. Who is ready to push? Oh, nice nano swarm to slow down the push here. Dark cover as well. That will give time for Valiant to be able to fort. I mean, Aitamers to fortify that spot. But already a rotation and raise even getting alert kill over onto mid here. Pushing onto heaven. Okay, just a bit awkward. He couldn't push after that nade. But it's okay. Who almost got one? I mean, almost got another. Okay, lang. Oh, that was close. That was close. The sofa. That would have been spiked down. That would have been spiked down. Sayang, they could have saved them like a millisecond of planting. But uh, again, the tenacity that Valiant's Archangels are showing us. Just perfect textbook plays. And unlike the, unlike the last game, right? You see the set play so, so much more clearly, on both sides, on both sides, right? And uh, you know the the statement that How sent to us is no surprise. Na ganto ang level nila maglaro. Kala nga natin na ay Tamaras had an edge in the first two rounds. But goes to show you should always wait for the rifle rounds to really. Oh, 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 oh. he got a kill. Jet got the kill with the double updraft. But yeah. It's always annoying to get that double up updraft to your face. Cause you know you're just like, okay, so we're just gonna slowly lurk it to the side. This big like, oh, okay, I'm dead. Salamat na lang. Bye bye. Oh, that was unfortunate. He was in. His aim was in between oh. two players. 
I'm seeing a battle sage. Probably one of the earliest ones we've seen so far in this whole season. I, 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 that's what I love. Do you know Tim? Tim, I, I love Tim. Tim was play, play Tim was playing for Atlas that eh? And then he was a battle sage type. He was always so fun to watch. Like, oh, sobrang pang agre, pang agre pick lang yung, yung mga walls niya. No, no, no sentinel nonsense here. <laughs> <laughs> of course. How the turn tables indeed. And right now, Archangels, they have the numbers advantage here. But nobody really entering A side. Being distracted. Oh. Miko with that Bucky, but Viddeck follows up with a one tap onto that Vandal. Going for a pretty safe plan. Only two defenders left. One in market, one will be coming from spawn. And they gotta move quickly. Bad Ghost with that Sheriff. Uh, an absolute punisher, but if he does not get the proper pick, oh. right in that, he's gonna be shot down. Unfortunately, weapon goes back in worship with the frenzy. Not much he can do against Terabyte's Vandal. And Archangels are leading by two points. And Fit did call for the defense first here as well. And I talked about it in the draft. When Violent Archangels get the defense switch, it's already a six. So even if they lose, both of these rounds, they're still gonna be totally fine. You have that double sentinel lockdown where mid control is so important on ascent. But I think Dark Angels, they're gonna be scary, I feel, once they move on to the second half. Scarier even. They're already scary now. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's like we're waiting for the final level. Of what their abilities are right now, we're just probably in stage one or stage two. Palapatay sa level ten, but it seems we're entering a tactical pause here. We will be resuming in a few minutes, of course. But uh, we we haven't seen a lot of tactical pauses. I think we. Uh, I think they should. I think teams games, should use it more. Yeah, they really should. <laughs> earlier, when I was uh, casting with Ling, I think only one game. There was only one instance where we saw a tactical pause, and I, I'm really happy that they're using it now that the score is this close. Because earlier, I think the score was like three to ten or four to ten. A, a really big margin, so not much you can talk about there. Best thing you can do with the tactical pause is to the mental slow reason. down. Yes, yeah. of course, and slow down the momentum for the team that's leading. And let's see, I Tamaraus. Uh, I'm not really sure which of these teams went through the tactical pause, but it's always great, you know, give them a little bit of a break. Kasi siya pina kapago din, no? <laughs> Puro bakbakan. Mm -hmm. papawis pa yung kamay mo, kasi. I, I wish they put a tactical pause in game as well. I think it would be a great thing if they have a. Oh! Oh! You see that? You see that? He I shot... was looking at the mini map. Oh. He, he, he shot. He, he threw his sheriff into the trash can. Oh, yeah. They can play basketball. That's an Akadarina thing. Last year, <laughs> pa yan, promise. Sobrang na enjoy cool. yung mga players dahil jan. Yeah, I, I wish they put a tactical pause in, in client. So I, I mean, think... like, not only for tournament mode, like, in general. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, you're playing competitive. Mm -hmm. If you can call for a timeout with your team, it will, like, you know, in a pub game, when, when your mm -hmm. team is still thing, call a timeout. <laughs> I feel like if you do call for a timeout, as in, like, bagaaway lang siguro yung mga nagagalit or yung mga natitip. That's natitin. true. That's true. It can work both ways, but I think it's a nice little thing if they implement maybe, it. Maybe they should implement it for teams that have full parties. Kasi it makes sense. Kasi... True, magkasama naman ganyan lahat eh. Oo, uh -uh, right. As opposed to, like, solo queuing. But anyways, back into the game here. <laughs> owl drone and owl drone action. <laughs> oh, but the Hunter's Fury... Oh, he's gonna get... Oh, he's gonna find another. He finds two bad ghosts. Beautifully done on that hunter's fury. They hugged the wall a bit too much. And when you're on the high ground, like where Sofa is, that's not gonna work out very well for you. And that was after a timeout, though. I wonder whose timeout was that. If that was I Tamaro's timeout, then that was perfect. Still? I wouldn't be surprised if I Tamaro's in the call for a timeout. That's true because they're from behind. What I know, they're really tactical. Eh? They're, the way they approach the game. They don't like impulse actions. They really think things through. And that's what's uh, 
That's what's helping them here, because Archangels are not leaving by a large Spike margin. Down, mid. Oh, last and that said, we hear Nico. the very loud PSA, and whatever they said in that tactical call left. seems to be working. Dynadax left all by himself. Might opt to save that Vandal. Uh, not really uh, gonna find some frags here, but that right. Recon Vault will. And they know where he is, trying to finish him off right then and there. Back goes. Closes out Dynadax. It's mm. Dilodax without the Lodax. You just die. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Pwede ko na mabubarat na yung chat. It's but, okay. Uh... It's okay. But I'm excited. Like, I'm excited for swap, for the swap, for the half. For either of the teams, to be honest. Because with the way Aitamaros were playing that aggro defense with their flash and dash combo. Missing swarm grenade. It's... It's gonna work really well for attackers, no? Kung ma overwhelm yung Archangels. But knowing Archangels, they usually know how to handle those types of attacks but let's see it's a different year a different season maybe hindi na nila kaya okay Aldron will get the info Nowhere to run. oh Hunter's Fury will he get that kill? one more that was so close that was so close just unfortunate it's a bit too far there is that sneaky angle onto the jet here. Let's see. You should they run. get something out of it. I'm surprised they haven't done the the wall boost yet on D. Oh wait. With the sage, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, with the sage. They, I mean you do it at least once, I feel. <laughs> Might be best for post plan, but uh, yeah, I mm, but that is gonna be there we go. That is the best way to use that wall. Like you said, the post plant. Making sure you block off that spawn area. Spike planted. Dynamax going for a revenge death there, but it didn't work out for him. They're all pushing towards the paranoia. Oh, uh, nice paranoia though. That was a nice paranoia. Oh, oh did he lag? Did he lag a little bit? Did perhaps? he lag? That was weird. That was weird. Yeah. That was weird. He didn't even react here, Switching or sides. he was like, he probably. I, I don't think you'd do like a hands up scenario, especially in a competitive game like this. <laughs> well, I mean, considering it was the last round, but I mean, I I wouldn't think they'd give it up that easily. Huh? Exactly. Now, yeah, let's see. I'm excited to see how, what set pieces they have for us. Worship and tricks. They've been doing it since they were defenders. I'm sure they have a lot more. On the attacker side for, in the book. The playbook, I mean, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't think about it now, but some of these teams, I'm sure, na kapag nagsis scrim sila, they always have special set plays, and sometimes hindi halata, but the way they execute the, their plays. Mm. Kahit hindi mo mapapansin na uh, strat siya. Like for example, uh, placement ng controller, duelis, dito kayo, dyan kayo. It just works out. That's it. You're you know just what? impressed by the way they move together. That's what you wanna see, synergy. True. Yung talaga yung nakakatawa with these types of games. You know what I'm excited for? Because I'm sure the pros will try to do it. They're gonna do like, vacuum pulse, what's the name? Of Astra and shock darts and nades. That will be a very possible set piece if you think that, about that's it. That's brutal. I've seen my fair share of Potato Master clips of people just getting absolutely massacred. So, mm -hmm. sana hindi naman mangyayari to that extent. But, again, it's Valorant. You don't really know what to expect. The Astra like, Gravity Well with the Shock Bolt. Even if you don't kill anyone with Gravity Well, it allows you to contest to push an angle very, like... It's, it's basically a flash because... The enemy doesn't really. Do it. Yeah. yeah, right. Do I'm not sure if how easy it is to combo it with the contest. Have you um, seen? Um, I for me it's not practical. You should choose one or the other. Ah, okay, okay. But still, you know, you can because contest. Because Malden, because the star, say it's two hundred per star, and if you don't take it back before the round ends, you have to keep buying. You have three hun. You you have three for free, right? I think or two, two only. Only two for mistaken. free. Okay, okay. Yeah, only two for free. And if you take them back, parang may cooldown pa siya, so you can't just put it anywhere immediately. 
But same principle with Phoenix, kapag nakaroon it back siya, someone has to wash your body or you go into your special state in cover. Ah, uh, yung sobrang vulnerable sa ito. Oh, hell. While banging with the ghost. The push, the pushing. Oh my god, dance around the smokes! So chaotic that was. But there we go. The dash is working out for them, but I time rose. Last man standing, Valiant Archangels. Ooh. That was unfortunate, but yeah, they claw one back here. I mean, they don't claw, they take another point for themselves and Valiant Archangels. I wasn't expecting this. Like, sure, they were trash talking, but I, 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 I really felt like it should have been much, much closer. Sure, it's a three-point lead, but you know, these are these are veteran guys. I Tam Rouse. They've been playing Valorant since last year, competitively as well. Right, and if not as a team, they uh, like as I Tam Rouse. They also have their own pro team, so champion they're exposed to different types of players yep. in the pro scene, not just collegiate. And it's it's a different level. Like you learn so much when you're playing competitively. Your mentality becomes better. Of course, because when you're in the you're like chill, lang, not much on the line, exp in a hubble. But competitively, you're really challenging yourself in the whole game. Right now, quick entry for Itamaros here, but the uh, Archangel so far has been formidable. After Shock will deny anyone in heaven for just a little bit. Um, oh, that is a heavy heaven. Like, what? so many of them are in heaven. Exactly, you've only got one of them in doors here. And last goes for the uh, slow orb. Oh! oh. And the Shock both back to back crowds here. Left and right, people are going down. The one and another Tifa Rapan is inside the Itamaros. And with that said, They'll manage to come out as the victors for this round. Mm -hmm. It was just awkward that all of them came in from heaven. From heaven. Like, okay, that yeah, was very so predictable. Space. I mean, mm. they. May na ako ng frog si Vindic. But that was, a, that was an average Jonas lineup. Yes. <laughs> that yes. was definitely an average Jonas lineup right there. A very average lineup. Pero, you know, kulang pa din eh. It's. Mas maganda talaga if you're trying to retake A, cover as much angles as you can. Because it's sobrang predictable na yung heaven, yung doors. If and, you can't and they slowed down, down right as well. Yes, and they tama. were slowed I mean, down. Natakot sila sa aftershock eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big so pop they... of breach. Now, yan na naman si Trix right on top of you. Be careful, blinded and punished for that play. Worship here gets Dilodax though. I Tamara was looking like a completely different team. Archangel a little bit lost here. Vindic was not aiming. Trick is popping off six health. That's not gonna stop him. But Blast will on that chair. Exhaust with the frenzy cancels out the Aldron. 3v2 in favor of I Tamara's worship. Nag <laughs> Nagahanap siya. Nang defender. But nandyan na sila sa loob ng sight. There you go. Perfect pick. And finish it off. Bat Ghost. Two yes. quick rounds in favor of Itamaros and finally the players, the veteran players of Itamaros are coming to play that the TFO combo, you have Bat Ghost, sure Worship is there at the bottom but he's always setting things up. He has those those flash angles that allow Trix to play with confident aggression. Because you're never ever gonna dash without like support. You're never gonna dry dash. You know, that's the proper it's thing to dash. call it. A dry dash. You're never ever gonna do that. Yeah, but Trix is against all odds, so hindi siya natatakot. Hindi na ako was sa gameplay niya eh. Listen, Usually siya yung nag-lead ng charge. Uh, textbook definition of doing it para sa kanya. But uh, even if um, as in kahit low na yung health niya, Push parin. Yun yun na kakatawa kay Trixie. Yeah, it's good. Like, you know, that's that's what a duelist should be. Mm. In the purest sense, I believe. Especially, you know, you have so much setup for you. You have smokes, you have a breach. Like, I only, like, you know, personally, I only play a jet ever if there is that sky or that breach to help you go in. Because mm -hmm. otherwise. The initiator to back you up. Because mm -hmm. if there's no one flashing for you. Sure, you can dash towards your smoke, but it's not nearly as effective. Sorry, Lee, paano kung nagdash ka sa harapan ng kalaban? Ah, uh, hindi bahala na. Si bahala na si <laughs> Bahala na si Bat Ghost. Bahala na si Bat Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Tama.
<laughs> Ayun na nga, yun lang na Dino Dax uh, Cheeky oh, pick, pero sakto sakto ang bumba Pero for sure, kita siya doon Black paint shells onto their face Flexing the fan a little bit Nasaskan siya ng recon ball But it will not be enough as that turret backs him up Blast with a 2k for that exchange I Tamaros right now A little bit of loss, but you got someone lurking behind him Trix! Ayan si Trix! 2k para sa kanya! Unfortunately, the spike Right now, if it's Kiel, hindi pa siya nakapasok ng side. Get shot down by Kiel on to the logs portion. Ayun, yun talaga yun, yung turret. Pati si Link, kanina pa niya pinapoint out na natatakot mag-entry kapag nakikita nila nandyan yung turret ng Killjoy. Because her utilities, even kung hindi siya nag invest sa guns, kung wala siyang masyadong kills, her utility still speak for itself. Yep. And that's what we can see sa side ng Archangels with Terabyte. It's so useful, right? He, he should provide so much info, control for the team, and it was a bit unfortunate for tricks there that I don't, I don't think the team was really aware of how much time they had left, because he was lurking, he was taking his sweet time, and his the rest of his team, sure, he got those kills, but you have to be on the same page, right? You make the hit the moment your lurker gets in position. Let's see, oh, they, they left the spike all the way outside B main. Hunter Fury has been popped out, he tagged one. The dash was used to make sure he wouldn't be followed up with the second one. Still, Terabyte will be able to take out Miko here. Trying, are they gonna make a market play here? But heavily being reinforced now, the wall is still standing. Wall gonna dissipate soon though. Time out, so I don't think a wall, a solid thing dissipates. That doesn't make sense. Let's just say it expires. There we go. How rolling thunder has been used. Paranoia as well. Forcing them all the way back. Gonna shout a step forward here. He's gonna get the plant spike. Yes, he does. Three on three action. Paint shell's not gonna connect them to anyone. Boom bot for information. Do you love this? Do you love that? They are Lelo Lelo Dax. Oh my god. Yellow Dax. Dialogue. Let's just let's just call you Dax. Dax, Dax the player. That's Dax really as a player. Dax is a player. Ooh, Trix really baited good. them with a the tailwind though. Oh, 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 that was beautiful. I mean, Mind right? Mind game, shannon, eh? Narinig I mean, niya kasi yung sound cue ng tailwind. Hindi siya exactly. sure saan siya titingin. Exactly. I mean, you know, omens do it. So why can't jets? I like it. Tama. And look at that, Trix. It's just coming to play 22 kills 12 deaths 3 assists but i'm sure a very very high first blood percentage in this one always making that entry making it difficult for archangels and night time rose they have the econ advantage right now so they have to take care of it whoa wow that is a set piece right there you see that? The moment he dashed, the smoke was there. Unfortunately, oh, okay. The flank, they couldn't see where he was going. That was already a very good showstopper from the race, but Trex just playing out of his mind. Okay, you can get that one, but they know exactly where you are, and Trex is down. Breach, lone player standing. See, he's waiting by that boxes. No boat house, but we're gonna wall bang. Won't flinch though. Did take some damage. Yep, definitely took some damage. Very nice health remaining for right. the breach here. Ooh, Ooh, but worship. He didn't move. That was that, smart. Yeah, that was great. Because if he, I mean, like, he was expecting. Okay, he's not there because no one moved. There was no return mm -hmm. fire, but worship pretending to be a box. Worked out perfect for them. Maganda nga eh. It's uh, yung mga instances na ganun no. Usually, right may binabato right na utility or nag pick. But mm. that's, that's great control from the side of worship. You can tell na he has experience when it comes to these types of plays. And medyo na siguro naguluhan si Dylan. Actually, you should sure kung yeah, nasa worship. Way. And perfect, perfect play. But that was still a very costly win though. For, right. for the Aitama. Oh, that's, that's a nice smoke. He blocked the flash from him. Okay, he's first into sight. Perfect attendance for him. Yep. 
I like, you know, just, just such a through jet player right there, and he stopped fragging as well. Okay. Spike planted. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the thing with the turret though, that's information in itself. You got the nanos form from the opposing KJ there. Fortunately, didn't really uh, pay the waiver, but he's like a blast with that wall. That's gonna work perfectly well for him. But uh, let's see if they have enough time to do so. You've got the lockdown imminent as well. It's just back to back frags here. And One it's a 2v2. Two, two stuck in both houses. One left in both houses. Worship! Up against Terabyte, but not this time around. Terabyte he knew exactly where he was, especially after fragging that Sage. But yeah, that's what, that's what's unfortunate about that Killjoy spawn. Because both house, there is that sliver of space you can avoid that Killjoy lockdown. But at least, you know, you, you basically guarantee where they will be after that lockdown. Placing alarm bot. Like I, I remember I saw in one in one Korean game they did the lockdown. There was a lot of space towards both house and there were like three people there. And after once the lockdown was near they just they just threw down a brim multi. It was beautiful. <laughs> It, it maganda din siya pang bait eh, kasi obviously they won't have enough time to go out kasi natatakot sila baka nandun na yung It's so either you uh, get locked defense. down or you get killed by the Exactly, yun na nga uh, It's like a loose-loose scenario no With that said, I've had my fair share of dying because I got stuck in a corner in an orbital strike it, It's not fun, so uh, mag-iingat na lang po kayo lahat <laughs> With that said, the I Tamaros here looking to uh, get set mid control but for them, but right now it's a challenge trying to go through gardens in A. But uh, Blast, patiently waiting right the love, next to that omen. The love for it is so strong. The love for Stingers. Mm -hmm. I feel Even it. Even got nerfed. It just really has to be oh, like super like... close angle. I think the next gun that's gonna get nerfed is probably gonna be the Bucky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Honestly, only a handful of players know how to properly use the Bucky. Yeah, because... It's so confusing okay. when you can go for that right click or that left click. If you, if you miss that opportunity, you're just dead. If you don't pick the right choice at a given time. Ooh, and look at that. Last player standing. This perfect game sense from... 30 seconds left. Bat goes there. Spike Gets a planted. lot off of there by the couple of shield damage and health damage. It's gonna be hard for him to go for the clutch. So over in garden trying to anticipate anyone flanking him but everyone's just locked down into sight here D dark cover imminent managed to spot a little bit of dos but after it acts as a second man and Miko finishes him off 10 to 10 with the score and in those scenarios that is when the turrets really become the mvp you're getting shot at you don't know what you're gonna shoot sure you prioritize the player but that turret slow sure the damage tickles but the slow is so annoying <laughs> 10 to 10 now, an Incon round for Archangel here, much needed because the next couple of round swings will determine this one. Maybe could even go into an overtime, who knows? This this game deserves an overtime, if I'm being honest. It's just so fun, like, it's blow for blow. It was. Yeah, tricks again, always, always getting into sight first, uh, magically floating. And, <laughs> he is definitely know, such a jet player. Yeah, really. Oh, look at the, oh, it was a B stack. It was a look B stack at, because they were eco. Look at this. Oh, a majority of our defenders are closing in on heaven, and Trex has the perfect opportunity. Oh, but he might get spotted out. One member, yeah. Worship with the flash, though. Look at that synergy. Oh, and there we go. That's what we love to see. Trex with a spray down. 3k. Still alive. Just the give him the ace! Give him the ace! You gotta give him the ace! Oh! Denied! Denied the ace! Well, it's okay. That is the moment when you laugh. That is the moment when you laugh as a team. When he fails to get his own ace. <laughs> but yeah, worship. These two, tricks and worship, from round one, they've been safe. They've been showing their synergy. And it's always a beautiful thing when a when a breach and a jet work together like that. So many things can happen. 
Look at that, 10 assists on 2 worship. Sure, not the most mind-boggling number. But he's just always there for tricks. And tricks did lose out that one. Unfortunately for him. Oh, there was no flash for him. Breach didn't flash for him. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Oh, for Pink Shell's power with Charger, but Dynadax will be getting... Oh... Didn't kill, kill no, there, but, but the here we bang. go, follow up with a wall bang. He Pink knew that he was bang. very low after that showstopper. Exactly. And again, Valiant Archangel is not letting up. Leadership with the Flash. I'm a little bit sure that Bat Ghost follows up with a good kill. There. Much needed win for Valiant Archangel if they close this one out. 4-2. Right. They have their revive as well from the Sage. Bat goes leading the charge here. Worship right behind him. Uh, still has the recon bolts, one shock bolt, and his ult. As long as they can get the oh, oh, nice so crouch! That was a nice crouch. I'm not he sure was... if he baited his teammate there, but I guess very unfortunate that Lang Parag and Bat goes. And there you go. Timing is what it is. Vindic gets worship mid the uh, flashpoint really unfortunate it's 49 11 to 11 against now, how much money the do they have they how much money does i tamaros have let's see if we can get a score sheet coming reduction. back can we get a tab can we get a tab sir all right there we go okay an operator for its tricks that's gonna be really scary oh wow this is the ace in the hole operator it is the first operator of the game what better chance and Bat Ghost is gonna relegate himself to that sheriff, but it's okay. A Sova with Hunter's Fury will still pay dividends if he gets himself in a good position to, you know, even soft, just soften up the opponents. No, very, very aggressive here. Sakto sana yung play kung nandun siya sa Kobe no, tas lahat ng attackers nasa A main. As in, wala, line up lahat para sa Hunter's Fury. But uh, what is he happening as of this moment? Oh, there we go. We do see a hunter He's not getting anyone so far yet. And an open site for I Tamaros here in A. Still, no one's dying just yet in this very, very crucial round. No one's gonna cross over onto the jet courtyard though. Shot that's being lined up. The Killjoy as well. I like how they're just putting the. The Killjoy trap on a high spot. Here we go, two and two now. Defender Killjoy. Lockdown was destroyed. Toss is gonna push forward, but Trix will take that one out here. And Vindic is gonna try and go for this defuse, but that was a fake teleport. But could see the arm though, but Trix, he's not gonna lose that one. One and one with an operator. You know Trix got this. Match Showing point. off his inner war deal in that play. Match point. Find Archangels. They don't have the economy right now. This is gonna be a very, very hard win. But if they pull it off, then we're going into an overtime. Wouldn't be surprised if they do, because Archangels have been known to be tenacious, especially when they're losing. Uh, I Tamaros had an early lead up by two for the pistol rounds then valiant archangels overtook them and now it's just neck and neck yet again so if i tamaraus can seal the deal it's gonna disrupt archangels morale but uh again as i said valiant they're, they're definitely not gonna give up Ooh. okay moment of truth jet peeking on to a site not gonna spot out anyone nice tag courtyard Will he get that one? Yes, he does. Will he get the finish though? One more. Very close. Very, very close. No cigar. Nice trade though by Market. Nico pushing forward. Sheriff in hand with Vindic. Holding this angle. Will be pushed out with that nano swarm. Ever so slightly though. So if you still try to cross that, you can still be one tapped with yeah. that sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Had my fair share of being stuck in the center. Para sa uh, shock bolt, if I'm not mistaken. Kung nandun ka sa git ng git na, that's when it deals the most damage. No? Oh. But uh, really great seeing these both teams playing very cautiously, waiting for someone to come out of those corners. And then they just uh, a little feet. game of uh, hide and left. seek with the uh, people there. But oof. again, ayan. Tuloy na ang push here to A side. Our defenders 
Oh. Oh. There we go. Gets Vindic from the long range. Three and push. three though. Definitely okay. not over for Valorant. Last manages to rest Dynadax on that play no. See item rounds. It's, it's gonna be a really close game. Paranoia left and right. Yo, waiting for someone to pop out of heaven. Won't be happening though. Trix is completely blocked with the dark cover. He still has ulti though, so he can try and make play for himself. Ooh, trades all around. Two on two. So far here, time is running out though. Another one on one scenario, but the headshot with the cool knives. What a way to end that match! And congratulations. That was the best way to end. That's always the best way to end a match with the blade storm. It's always gonna be swag. That was really, really close though. But I, Tamaros, congratulations mm. to these lads. They got the revenge match, and unfortunately for Valiant. You guys aren't getting your sweep just yet. Uh, mm, they, I, I don't think they're game. ever getting their sweep because they lost one already. Still, you know, they can make it in to that playoff period or move on, promoted or whatever. But yeah, I think it was a very good effort still though against a team like like FIT who has that veteran presence. The combo, the dynamic duo of Trix and Bat Ghost. It was just so fun to watch. Ah, no, regardless, it was a close game. And sobrang natutuwa talaga ako today with all these matches. It's just been back and forth. It's uh, unfortunately not the case for all the teams. But uh, since game number one, up until now, close matches. And this is where we see our players level up. And it's been great so far. This is uh, the last match of the day. We hope that everyone enjoyed, no? But mm -hmm. again, congratulations para sa Aitamaraos and GGWP to Valiant Art Angels. It's, it's it was a valiant exciting. effort. One and Va valiant. Zao has made a valiant effort. Yes. Yes, but, mine uh, for a line. Oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> fell short just a little bit, no? But uh, again... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's uh, it's not over yet because we still have our giveaway active now for Kovac 2.0. If you guys weren't uh, here earlier, basically Kovac 2.0 is an official aim trainer. And they've been generous enough to give Akadarina a couple of keys that will be given away as our daily giveaway for the stream. So we have four lucky winners for today and four lucky winners for tomorrow. So if you guys haven't shared the stream yet, please do so on facebook and use the hashtag of the team you are supporting for and there's still season. time i guess uh right. I, I think direct direct will we go to a break still or are we announcing the winners right i think uh that should be it for today but uh oh i think great. i think they'll just flash the winners i think they All might right. just flash the winners all right yeah it's been great thank you so much to our viewers for tuning in to the university alliance cup season number two hosted by akadarina before we go we'd like to thank our sponsors google telecom riot games twitch students our official partner and kovac 2.0 our official game trainer my name is yusuke and this is swarly and that's all we've got today good evening and have a good night bye, -bye. see you next time